What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So earlier today I got myself a diamond red deer and I did mention at the end of the clip that I've already gotten a Rocky Mountain bull elk with a 338 and I got a diamond with a 7 mil. Now is my chance to get a diamond with the 308. So I've been checking out my zones here again on New Zealand for fallow and I do have a level 5 diamond potential fallow deer. He's not at this zone but I do have some coming in. Got a couple of level 4's. Definitely want to get on this guy. And this guy's coming in. So when he finally gets into the zone, I'm going to take the shot. Alright, so they're finally in the zone. But they're pretty spread apart. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a follow-up shot unless he continues walking. Actually, he's going to stop right there. going to see how this goes. And that's my phone. Oh, that was high. Oh, was that a good enough shot? He's down. I just got eyes on a level 3, so let's take him down. That was solid. And let's pick up this level 4. So, got a left lung, liver, and stomach at 234. And got a left lung at 259. Now, at this zone here, earlier today, when I was going out and hunting fallow, I did have a level 5. But his estimate was nowhere close of being anywhere near a diamond. But I do have a couple level 4s. That's just that guy. Okay, there he is. Maybe I should just take down one in that zone. So let's go for this guy here. Wait till he puts his head back up. And smoke them. And let's pick up this small three. Got a double lung at 254. Now I got two more fallow in the other zone across. Level 4 and another level 4. About 220. And did I get them both? I believe I did. And here's a level 4 in this zone. So got a double lung at 196. Scoring 219. I believe there's one of the other level 4's that fled the scene. Oh, I was about to pull the trigger. He shouldn't, should turn back around. And he smoked. Now I got three of them to pick up. So this guy here busted through the shoulder blade. Got a double lung at 158. Now the 308 will drop them on the spot if you get a double lung. But seeing the fact that the 7 mil will drop them on a single lung, it's quite a bit of difference. Uh, got a right lung at 218. And another right lung at 221. Just got eyes on another level 4. Is he fleeing? Should have been solid. And here he is. So got a right lung at 142. Do have eyes on another level 4. 
Well, let's see if he turns back. I could tuck the bullet in there. Let's get a bit more broadside with him, though. And this should work. And smoked them. And let's pick them up. So I got a right lung and heart at 236 yards. Now, I did spot this guy out earlier, so I decided to save him and take him down while I was doing recordings. But he's a level 4. He's got a really good estimate. 214 to 267. Now, you need a 251 for a diamond. And he's giving me that broadside. Drop them. And here he is. So let's pick him up. So busted through the leg and got a double lung at 223. Giving me a score of 218. So yeah, for a diamond you need a 251.72. Now, in these two zones here, I only got a couple level 3s, so I'm not going to go too crazy in the zones. So maybe I'm going to only take down one in each zone if I have time to react. That's solid. That should have been a vital. Definitely was. He piled up. Now, this is a new drinking zone for me. But I do have a level 4. That's a level 3. And here's my level 4. Got a double lung at 179. And I finally made it on the other side. So, got a double lung at 227 yards. And my other one's not too much further. I'm definitely going to have to keep uh, exploring for the fallow. Because these two new zones I just spotted out. So I'm going to definitely have to check out that area a bit more. And this guy got a right lung at 257. So at this location, I did a different setup. Last time when I came in, I placed a tent and I ended up spooking these guys. So. And I, I did have a fallow deer zone here, which I deleted because there was only one. So I decided to place a tent here, and it's fair enough that these guys render in from each other. I do have a level 4 at this zone here. And I do believe I have another level 4 in this zone. If I can spot him out, there he is. So he's about 300 yards out. I should be able to get a follow-up. That was solid. And hopefully that was solid. And actually I think I made a bad shot. I definitely made a bad shot. And here's the level 4. So I got a right lung at 283 yards. Now I did get hunting pressure from the other fallow, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do a little bit of tracking. So I finally found him. How to do quite a bit of tracking. So got the shoulder blade at 295 yards. Now, my mistake was to change my zeroing and aim high. That's why I ended up messing up on this guy. 
Now, I'm going to back up the time to 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to explain later. Alright, so I'm going to spot him out. So there's that fellow, 5 medium, estimate 242 to 294. Now he's definitely dominant potential, and what I like the most is the fact that his higher estimate is a lot higher compared to the uh, lower estimate to be a diamond. So that, that's a good sign. Now the story behind this is every time I saw him in that eating zone, he would leave that eating zone and then take off in the woods. And I have no idea where he would go when it came to drinking time because the fallow eat at 6 o'clock in the morning till 10 and then they go drink from 10 to 1 o'clock. So seeing the fact that he's eating up here, I thought he would come down here. Well no, he took off in the woods and he would head up this way and then I would spawn up here or at this outpost and then check along here and he would was nowhere to be found. And I've even checked at these spots so I have no idea where he goes after he eats. And I've even checked down here, no sign of him at all. So I don't know if there's some kind of hidden lake here on New Zealand that I don't know about. But uh, this guy's been giving me nothing but trouble. And let's keep eyes on him. He's probably in the trees here somewhere. Or no, he's still there. So obviously I'm not going to make this kind of shot. So I, I got a really good wind. So I'm going to sneak up there and hopefully I'm going to be able to get a nice cl clean shot on him. Alright guys, I think I'm going to get as close as I want to him. But there he is, 135 out. Gonna wait till he puts his head back up. If he does. Smoke them. And here he is. Now let's actually smooth the grass out a bit and get a better visual at him. And let's actually get a screenshot of that. Alright, moment of truth. And he's a diamond. Double lung. 136 yards. Now let's uh, save him. Scoring 260.84. 212 pounds. Take another screenshot of that. Very nice fallow. Alright folks, well the clip is coming to an end and I actually decided to uh, advance the time for a night because I find there is better lighting at night than there is during the day. So there he is up on the wall right beside the diamond red deer that I got earlier today. So they're almost scoring about the same actually. 265 on the red deer 260.8 on the fallow. So I'm off to a good start for the cabin. Still also got my piebald uh, blacktail. Maybe eventually I'll get a diamond to a place in the lodge. But on that note, that's going to be a wrap for the clip. So for those that watch my videos, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all next time.